I found a rather stunning lunar moth yesterday in the courtyard gardens and it reminded me of an old field note from my journal. So I dug it up and shared. I was talking to Zabel about heading into the ravine to spend some time alone over by Barker's Notch. I'm exhausted from the climb and my axe is quite dull. I received word from emissaries that more commissions are in order so I really need to sharpen the blade so to say. So much I care about, so much I've done and still so much yet to do. I often ponder if it was all in vain. I guess pondering is part of me and my dreams. Stay the course Mr. Hadder. Stay the course. I can still hear Zabel's calming voice echo in the darkness of the lower tower. Anyway, soon enough I suppose. I now have a lunar moth to talk to. Yesterday I was sitting by the Red River just enjoying a little peace and quiet as the sun was getting low in the sky. I noticed a warm moth by the river bank. It was dim and so its transparent wings were fluttering different colors. Not sure exactly how that works but it's very fascinating. In the dark they almost become invisible, the two main enormous wings shaped like a lunar or a tiger moth. Hence the floating triangles that people often envision when you mention war moths. It almost looked like it was exercising them, or testing them out or stretching them. Or dare I say just having fun. I noticed an odd interaction with some dragonflies, they seemed quite fascinated with the war moth's tail lights, and I think the war moth was teasing the dragonflies and playing around with them. Flashing his lights as they investigated. I think people have a misconception of them, perhaps that name they were given has something to do with that perception, war moths. Oh well, they seem rather unwarlike to me. The more I know about them the more I wonder about men. I see much more harmony with the natural world and war moths than I do with men. And their constant overwhelming need to rule, to judge, and to destroy. I guess not all men, but, as I get older I seem to relate with the hero John Hadder, more and more. Zabel has me out here taking notes for him. But I must say, I rather enjoy the hillsides at dusk.